Walsend, historically Walsend on Tyne, is an area in North Tyneside, Tyne and Weir, northeast of England. Walsend derives its name as the location of the end of Hadrian's Wall. It has a population of 42,842 and lies 3.5 miles east of Newcastle city centre. The population of the Walsend Ward of the North Tyneside Borough was at the 2011 census 10,304. History equals Romans equals, in Roman times, Walsend hosted the Fort Sagadunum. This fort protected the eastern end of Hadrian's Wall, which terminated at the western wall of the fort. Walsend was occupied by the Romans for around 330 years from AD 81 to AD 410. Equals pre-conquest equals, the withdrawal of the Romans from the wall immediately brought the Picts from the north and shortly after the Angles, sailing from near the mouth of the Elba with frequent raids coming both from sea and land. Either the Saxon laid waste to the whole of the north in 547 and walls and doubtless suffered in the general devastation. It was not until the Golden Age of Northumberland under Edwin, and the subsequent introduction of the Christian faith by Kind Oswald and Aidan that Walsend enjoyed a time of peace and progress. This time of peace came to an abrupt end in 794 when the Danes swarmed up the Tyne in great number. The years preceding the coming of William of Normandy were a struggle between Danes and Saxons striving for mastery. Equals 19th century to present equals, several urban sanitary districts were formed in the parish in the late 19th century. Willington Quay, Howden and Walls End itself. The first two joined to form the Willington Quay Urban District under the Local Government Act 1894, with the portion of the parish outside any urban sanitary district forming the parish of Willington in Tynmouth Rural District. Walls End became incorporated as a municipal borough in 1901, and in 1910 took over Willington Quay and Willington, and also part of the parish of Long Benton. Equals shipbuilding equals, Walsend has a history of shipbuilding and was the home of the Wyom Richardson shipyard, which later amalgamated to form Swan Hunter and Wyom Richardson, probably best known for building the RMS Mauritania. This express liner held the Blue Rye Band, for the fastest crossing of the Atlantic, for 22 years. Other famous ships included the RMS Carpathia which rescued the survivors from the Titanic in 1912 and the icebreaker cross in which rescued the Umberto Nobile expedition on Spitsbergen in 1928, when Roald Amundsen perished. The story is retold in the movie The Red Tent, starring Sean Connery and Peter Finch. Charles Parsons launched his revolutionary Turbinia here in 1894, thus not only revolutionizing the navies of the world, but also, through the large-scale production of affordable electricity making a significant contribution to the modern age. He features in a BBC film called The Inventor of the Twentieth Century. Russian novelist Yevhenny Zormiatin worked at Swan Hunter in 1916-17, and used it as background for his great anti-utopian work We which was a major influence on George Orwell's 1984. WWII ships built here include HMS Sheffield and HMS Victorious which took part in the sinking of the Bismarck. Other ships built there include the new HMS Ark Royal in the 1980s. The shipyard closed in 2007. The musical The Last Ship by Sting is set in the shipyard. The former Walls End Slipway and Engineering Company shipyard continues to operate, constructing offshore oil rigs and as a TV studio. Productions from there include the hit ITV drama Vera starring Brenda Blethyn and Inspector George Gently starring Martin Shaw. Equals coal mining equals, much of Wallsend's early industry was driven by coal mining. The Wallsend colliery consisted of seven pits which were active between 1778 and 1935. In the 1820s the pits became incorporated as Russell's Colliery, which then became the Wallsend and Hebburn Coal Company Limited. By 1924 the colliery employed 2,183 people. Its most prominent manager was mining and railway engineer John Bunnell who helped develop the Davy Lamp. Between 1767 and 1925 there were 11 major incidents recorded at the colliery resulting in over 209 deaths. On June 18, 1835 a gas explosion in one of the tunnels killed 102 miners, the youngest of which was aged 8 and the oldest 75. Many of the dead were found with their cloth caps in their mouth. 
This is believed to have been an attempt to prevent inhalation of the gas which eventually killed them. The bodies were extracted and buried in St. Peter's churchyard at the top of the bank overlooking the Wall's End burn. A plaque has been erected within the churchyard to commemorate this tragedy. Equals recent history equals, the town has expanded greatly in terms of housing since the end of World War II, and since the 1960s. Walls End Town Centre A Euro including the main shopping area known as the A Euro OE Walls End Forum A Euro A Euro is in fact to the west of the land covered by the town. To the north of this area lies the older estate of High Farm and the new estate of Hadrian Lodge. The town centre of Walls End is separated from the eastern areas of the town by the Walls End Burn, a stream running through a small glacial valley from northwest to southeast and through the Willington Gut into the River Tyne. To the east of the burn is the old area of Holy Cross, which contains the ruins of a medieval church, the pre-war estate of Rose Hill and the mainly post-war estate of Howden. To the south of Howden lies Willington Quay which, as its name suggests, once served shipping but which is now dominated by industry and housing. East Howden forms a small enclave between Willington Quay and North Shields. The town of Euro unregistered trademark S principal thoroughfare and shopping street is the high street. To the north of this street is Walls End Green, the town of Euro unregistered trademark S most picturesque area, consisting of large houses surrounding a green square. Behind the green, where the burn runs through the parkland of the hall grounds lies Walls End Park, a traditional British municipal park whose restoration has frequently been demanded by local residents and is planned with many improvements such as a skate and BMX park, better pathways, and a rebuilding of the Duffy Memorial Fountain. On Rate Avenue in Walls End is Centurion Park Golf Club, previously named Walls End Golf Club. It has 18 holes and a driving range. The town is home to Walls End Boys Club, an association football club which has produced many famous players such as Alan Shearer, Lee Clark, Steve Watson, Peter Beardsley, Robbie Elliott, Mick Tayot and Michael Carrick. It is also hometown and birthplace to internationally successful musician Sting, whose song All This Time refers to the Roman Wall and Fort. The musical The Last Ship, composed and written by Sting, is set in Wall's End. Equals commemorating Roman history equals, in dedication to its Roman heritage. Walls End a Euro unregistered trademark s historic name Sejadunum is stated on many occasions throughout the town and signs also with Latin wordings can be found. Walls End Metro Station, which serves the town, has some signs in English and Latin. Such translations tend to amuse with contrasts between today our Euro unregistered trademark s and ancient times. Segedunum Roman Fort Museum has displays on Roman history as well as reconstructions of a bathhouse and a section of the Roman Wall which once stood on the site. Notable citizens, Paul W. S. Anderson, film director, Steve Bruce, footballer and football manager, Michael Carrick, footballer, Richard Gaddis, opera administrator Drive Sheldon Hall, film historian, Peter Higgs, theoretical physicist, Paul Kennedy, historian. Brian Law's footballer and manager, Andrew Leslie, shipbuilder, Kevin McDyne, darts player, John Anthony McGuckin, theologian, Orthodox Archpriest, John McKay, MP for Walls End 1945-1964, Oka, electronic musician, George Ray, footballer, Michael Smith, footballer T. Dan Smith, regional politician, Paul Stevenson, footballer, Sting, musician, Alan Thompson, footballer, Chris Thorman, rugby league player, Benham, band, Lee Clark, footballer, Neil McDonald, footballer, Steve Watson, footballer, Jockey Wilson, darts player, Tony Lowry, footballer, Vicky Patterson, reality TV star, Chi Honora, politician. See also, Point Pleasant, Northeast England. References. External links, Tynemir Archive Service. Historical information on Walls End, read a detailed historic record about Walls End Roman Fort, Tynemir Archive Service, RMS Mauritania website, 1, for Zormiatin, Orwell's 1984 and Walls End, iconic images of Walls End, Tanker Tyne Pride overlooking terraced houses. 1151 SQUATC